Some other news now. Almost a year after the announcement of demonetization, the ripples are still being felt by the Reserve Bank of India as it struggles day and night to process the demonetized notes. Meanwhile, the opposition gears up for the first anniversary of the monetary policy, calling it a black day, and it is all set to hold protest across the country on the ill effects of demonetization. Well, of course, there the Congress uh, upping the ante on the government's uh, demonetization decision. But more importantly, we're seeing how the, even the RBI now is grappling with ensuring that uh, it's still processing the demonetized notes. A year on, almost 99% of the 500,000 rupees demonetized notes have returned. But 365 days later, an RDI, RTI now reveals that the demonetization notes are still being processed by uh, the Reserve Bank of India ahead of the opposition's black. Day. Remember, 8th of November is going to be the first anniversary of the government's uh, demonetization initiative and certainly the Congress and other parties, they're upping the ante, calling it a black day and raising uh, their concerns with as far as demonetization is concerned. But more importantly, a year after demonetization decision, the RBI is still processing demonetized notes. Going across to Hina Gambhir now, joining us on the phone line for more details on this. Uh, Hina, at a time when the opposition is trading their guns at the government's demonetization decision and RTI now revealing that the Reserve Bank of India is still processing demonetized notes a year after. Well, absolutely. It's going to be one year uh, ever since demonetization was announced and we are now given to understand that RBI is still verifying the returned notes. In fact, it took RBI a lot of time to even tell us the total currency that has come back into the system post-demonetization uh, because of which uh, the government had to face a lot of criticism. And nearly a year after Prime Minister Modi announced demo, the 500,000 rupee bills that were returned to the banks are still being processed in all earnings to a sophisticated currency verification system. This is what the RBI has now said to an RTI query. In fact, we are given to understand that the uh, central bank, RBI, has processed about 1,134 crore pieces of 500 rupee notes and 524 crore pieces of 1,000 rupee notes which were junk during demonetization. So, uh, you know, this is something which is definitely a cause of concern. But also, don't uh, forget the, uh, the volume of currency that we are talking about that actually came back into the system. Uh, Ina, but also, this is coming at a point when uh, 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 earlier we've seen how the entire uh, argument as far as the returning 99% of the 500,000 rupee notes that have been returned, was that the fact that only 1% of it was black money while the entire plan of demonetization was to bring in as much and curb as much of black money as possible, has that aim even remotely achieved? Well, what the government had to say on that issue was that all the money, the 99% of the total demonetized currency that you're talking about that came back into the system is not legal or legitimate money. In fact, that is something which is under investigation now because people uh, did manage to open a number of accounts and deposit their black money that they had thinking that nobody will be able to find out. But that's exactly what the income tax department is now working on. In fact, the uh, total currency that has come back into the system. That's what the government has been saying repeatedly. It doesn't mean that all that is white money. It includes black money as well. And all these people, all the companies who open, uh, who, all the you know people who open shell companies to uh, convert their black money into white uh, via demonetization, they're all under investigation. They're all under the scanner. And of course, uh, action will be taken against those. But of course, it's going to be a long process and it is going to take a lot of time before we find out as to what was the total amount of black money that was there in the system that came back into the system post demonetization. Clearly, you know, a year after demonetization announcements, the RBI is still processing demonetized notes, certainly giving enough ammunition for the Congress to now trade their guns, calling it a black day ahead of the one year anniversary of the monetary policy of the government. Many thanks, Hina, for getting us all those details on that story.